Man, I look so beautiful today. Ah, you guys get me in all my glory. You're welcome. All right. I am setting up. So hold on. Hold on, you guys. What? Oh. What is up? For, hold on. I don't know if you guys ever saw my move-in video, but we have an infestation of Asian beetles. We thought when we moved in that they were ladybugs. Well, guess what? They're not ladybugs. Uh, they're Asian beetles. And we need to call somebody out to come spray because um, they're everywhere. And they're supposed to, like, be able to um, pinch. So, no bueno. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's all, like, it, it's a mad, it's a setup here, okay? Good, Vicky. I'm glad that you've been using all of it. I am actually, let me actually take you over here. Can I turn this camera on StreamYard? Hold on. Cam? Nope. Okay. Hold on. I was trying to see if I could flip the camera, but I don't. I'm pressing buttons. Yeah. And they're everywhere, Susan. The Asian beetles, they um are in the living room like really bad and then down here they haven't been as bad but i feel like at night when i've been coming down here for the lives like they're flying around oh my gosh i look haggard you guys are welcome okay so we were talking about iod this isn't going to let me flip my camera i guess so i finally look at we made the bench we made the what what do you call this it's a it was supposed to be my new craft table but I was like, no, I'll sit at that. And then this is easier to kind of like ship and stuff on. So it's just butcher block. John built these end caps for me. And then we put like the white storage shelves right there. But anyways, I, we were talking about IOD. I grabbed all of my IOD stuff out because I feel like there's a lot I'm not utilizing that I have. Um, especially like some of the, um, the like Christmas ones that came out, for example, like these, these actually have cherubs like all over. Like, I don't know if you could see that one that's upside down. Like this doesn't have to just be for, for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You are not late. Hello. And the same thing for like the, what's this one? Merry and bright. Like, look at how like a lot of those you, I could be using. Cause they're not just Christmas. Like that one has like the cherubs. So yeah, I'm trying to organize these. And then I found these little things, these little bags at um, Dollar Tree. So if you're somebody that likes to cut up your stamps, um, which I usually do, like these were my crockery ones and you don't want to spend the money getting those IOD sleeves then these are great and just get two. You could get one for the stamps and then one for the, um, the masks. And then I have so much decoupage paper that I got from Sonnet's Garden in Bloom. You guys, we have to do something fun with this. I think it's, one's a fox and one I, I want to say is a bear. But like, this is not usually my jam, but there was something magical about it. Um, so yeah. I'm trying to organize everything because I'm like, I want to make sure I'm utilizing everything that I have instead of just like what's on top of the stack, you know? Or, oh, gosh. Okay. I'm going to put you guys up now. I think you guys know I'm a mess. Oh, look. That's like kind of perfect, huh? We'll see when I sit down. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. I thought that was going to be good, but it was not good. Okay, let's see. It's kind of like low. No? You guys good? I might chop my head off. I never get like, hi, you guys. Let's tell scary stories. <laughs> it's my face. Okay, hey, you guys. 
Oh, you're awesome, Brenda. Thank you so much. If you guys see me look down, it's because I'm looking at the computer. The writing is a lot bigger um, on the computer versus my phone. Um, hi, Gail. Sorry, I'm I'm going to read. Okay. Hi, everybody. Is it nine o'clock? Yes. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Unicorn Dust Designs. This is a live video, so I will be chatting back and forth with people if you are joining Later, please comment replay down in the comments. I am streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So as I'm having conversations and replying, you may not see the person that is commenting on Facebook. It is a shame that you guys cannot see each other's um, banter back and forth, but just know that um, if you guys do have a Facebook and you can hop on over to the Facebook portion, that would be great. I am trying to get monetized on Facebook. So um, that would really help me out. Um, hello. Um, I'm going to butcher it. Luz, Luz, Luz. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm not catching everybody's name as they're coming in. Hey, Shannon. Um, we are just going to have... Fun, paint, talk like we usually do. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Sarah, Jody, Shannon, all of you guys. Okay, so I'm going to say this now and then I'll remind you again later in the video. But I do have a website, Unicorn Dust Designs. We just had a thrifted Thursday where I showed my new haul. So definitely check that out. Um, usually my links are in the description box. I'll do that after this video. And we're going to play around with some salt wash today. We're going to do some distressing, some wax, a little bit of everything. I'm also going to start, I think it's only going to be once, once a week because I've been going live twice a week. So either on the Thursday live or the Sunday live, um, whomever shares my content or sprinkles my content sorry you'll be entered in a drawing to win one of my new mugs i just made and created so this says i live to junk i designed this and i sublimated it onto the mug so um every week it might be something different it might be a, a different uh, mug that i design I'm not sure, but if you sprinkle my video from now until, I don't know, Saturday night, then you'll be entered into a drawing to win this cup. And then I will let you know on Sunday's live who, um, who was the winner. I will comment um, or reply to your comment maybe or message you on Facebook or YouTube because YouTube accounts too if you're on the tube and you share, then it counts too, okay? Uh, Priscilla, it's not gonna be in my Facebook group. It is my Facebook business page, Unicorn Dust Designs. So check there. You guys might be in the Unicorn Dust Designs group. Thank you, Tina. Yeah, this is the one that I've been wearing. This design is what I um, put on my sweater that I wore last week, and then I made a really cute t-shirt of it as well. So. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate that, girly. So we're going to start, I think, with the salt wash because salt wash takes a little longer um, to dry. We got this little doodad um, in last week's haul. Would you call, this wouldn't be considered a Florida lease, would it? I don't think so. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Brenda. This isn't a Florida lease, right? Because a Florida, I mean, it kind of is, no? Am I tripping? Thank you, Tina. All right. Well, if you guys know, let me know. So I got this for $4.99 and I knew that I it needed a paint job for sure. The base is kind of weird because it's like turquoise, but brushed back and then the pole on it is like an orangey rusty color and I don't know if somebody tried painting them this themselves because you can see like the base of it 
looks like somebody tried painting it and kind of did like a messy job, but I don't know. So we're, it looks like it was, <laughs> I've played enough June's journey to know that it's Florida lease. I love it. This was at one time Hobby Lobby $39.99 and then it went clearance for $8 and then I bought it for $5. <laughs> oh, the journey you've been through. I am just going to clean this up with a baby wipe. This is a light enough color. I tell you guys all the time, like I'm going to paint this later. This is the one we thrifted last week that I didn't know if it was a planter or well, it could be a base for a planter or anything if you flip it around. So I guess we'll just say it's versatile. It's versatile. Okay. Hi, Karen. It's okay, Kim. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you guys can't um, get there, no worries. So that black one, that's something I usually would uh, shellac just because I've painted things like that in the past and then like weird colors like red come through. It's really weird. Um, thank you, Lola. I appreciate it. Hey, Lori, I saw your orders. Hey, Heather. Oh, thank you, Priscilla. I appreciate it. And if you guys are new to lives, of course, I'm going to welcome people that are coming in. So it might seem kind of repetitive and boring at first, but we we start getting into the crafting and stuff. But lives definitely aren't for everybody. Like some people will get on my live and be like, I don't like that you're chatting with people. And I'm like, that's what a live is. I have other content if you want to watch it, but a live is definitely where you <laughs> where you chat with people. Hey, Amanda and Wanda and Leanne. Remember to sprinkle, sprinkle so you could get entered to win this week. Yeah, this, yeah. I don't really have to clean it all that well because the salt wash is going on. If it had bleed through, you wouldn't even see it. So this is my first thought here. I don't know. Um, I am thinking I'm going to go brown, like all the way down because this, the bottom part, I want to kind of look, um, rusty almost. What did I do with that other candle? I kind of want to give it like a brown, like rusty look. I don't know. Brown. And then up here, we're going to go brown, but then I want to do like old 57 patches on it and then go over it with um, like a white and then distress it down. So you see the brown and the turquoise coming through. What do you guys think? Um, you just have to, in order to sprinkle, you would just share the video. If you're on YouTube, you would just like share it to your personal Facebook or um, if you know um, places that enjoy this type of video. So Heather baking soda, I showed you guys last week is you can use it. It is not made for paint though. Um, I've used it in the past, obviously, but there is a big difference in the texture you're going to get. So this is a previous piece I made and you could see how it does add some texture, but it's going to dry down. It's going to flatten out. Salt wash doesn't do that. Salt wash, if you put texture on there, if you put clumps on there, I mean, it's going to keep all of that texture. It's not going to flatten out and it'll dry like that. And then you can work with it. So, um, hi page. So it is definitely different. Uh, it's not going to give you the texture like salt washes. Okay, Bobby's in the house. Okay, let me start with our mixing. I'm just hoping, you know, this is what uh, meant patina. Oh. Um, okay, so salt wash comes in 10 ounce. This is the 42 ounce. This is like the big boy. And then we have a salt wash kit as well. And those are available on my website. I am going to thank you, Debbie. And sorry, y'all are coming in hot. There, You guys are chatting it up right now, and I cannot keep up. 
Won't you lose some of that? No. So Lola, I don't know if you saw my recent um, video on the planters. I put molds on them. And then if you get a smaller paintbrush, you're going to paint, you're going to pull back some of that salt wash to show those details. And then when we just stress it down, it'll, it'll do it. Or maybe it won't, I guess we, <laughs> we will find out. Thank you so much. Is it I'm going to butcher it. Lorheo. Lord I apologize right now. Okay. Let me, I don't have a brown by DIY. I wish I did because in all honesty, the browns, this is trouble. The DIY paints just like distress so much easier. They're like effortless and they don't smear and all that stuff. So hello, Melinda. Again, y'all, I'm so sorry if I'm missing people. Yay, Kim, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. Um, let's get somebody's coffee mug out of the way so I don't salt wash it. So I am going, I just apply it with a chippy brush. You're going to put a good amount of paint in there. And then the more salt wash you add, the more texture you're going to get. So I always start with a little, and then I could always add more if it's not to the consistency I want. So you can see it's just plops in there. And um, I have not tried Dixie Belle paints. I have only tried their, um, their crackle stuff and was not a fan of it. I don't know if I got like a bad jar or something, but it did not work for me at all. Hi, Jess. No, salt wash can be used with any kind of paint. Any. Does not have to be um, chalk. Doesn't have to be DIY paint. Nothing. So you can see how it has like this thick I'm going to get this all over my computer. Consistency. Now we could even go like harder and you could put a lot more salt wash in there. And like, as it gets like a drier consistency, that's where you're going to get like old, like wood kind of look. So, um, Lori, it's really going to depend on how you want it. I've made it way thicker than this. This I'm going to, I should probably get something to put on this. I'm going to start out with kind of like a thinner coat just because I also want to layer with some of that old 57, which I think I'm going to make chunkier. So Vicky got four colors of the DIY paint, Vicky. Yeah, Lori, mine's thick like cake batter right now. Like, and then the longer I feel like it sits, the thicker it gets like it kind of looks like brownie mix right now so um and again you guys I'm sorry if I'm not seeing you come in I'm gonna have to get a little brush to probably get in those little I like how I put this on and it's not even like I should probably put the lid on that because no one needs see something like that will happen and then 42 ounces is everywhere. Okay. <sighs> All right. So I don't know where this is going. Like I said, I had an idea for this. It popped in my mind. And, you know, to be honest, you guys just saw, saw me start using salt wash, but I knew it was going to be a staple and I'm still learning myself, like how to use it, what I'm like capable of when using it and all that stuff. So I'm still learning too, but I can tell you that it gets me super excited about crafting because I like the chippy look. I like that worn look. So it gets me super excited. And you can still see like, even with that coat, this dang lighting, you could still see the details in that. Oh, you quilt Debbie. That's awesome. Yes. So yeah, Heather, you can literally use salt wash on anything, on any surface. It sticks to glass. It sticks everything. You could definitely cover up some rust with it. 
and uh, it washes right out of like bowls, this paintbrush, super easy. Some people think that it smells. It definitely does have a smell to it, but I don't, I guess I don't notice it. I think it was Kendra, my girlfriend Kendra, that's also on um, YouTube. She was saying that one night she didn't like the smell of it. And I was like, oh, I never even knew there was a smell. Julie, the mystery boxes were going well. Um, I sold quite a few when I did like that. Uh, my birthday sell and then like everything was 13% off um, but they've kind of slowed down and to be honest I've just been jam packing them it says 20 items but I've been fitting as much as shipping will allow because I have so much I just want to get rid of it I mean not everything obviously there's still things that I will use but um, I just have so much crap so much like signs and just things, you know, that I'm not going to use all of that. I'm not going to use it all. So if you do it thinner, will it show more detail? Um, I mean, yeah, of course, because because it's not going to have like tons of crazy texture to it. But like I said, if you wanted a heavier um, texture still, you would just take a paintbrush like I did with my planters that I put the molds on and you would just wipe back the, the details, like wherever you have that paint. So I'm trying to get this in all the details. And if there's like chunky pieces that come out, like that's even better. And two, I don't really have to get all of the white. Like, I don't have to have full coverage on this. Like, you can see it's kind of getting, like, thicker. I don't know if you guys could see it. The lighting's kind of bad. It's not crap. It's future inventory. <laughs> uh, yes, you can, Misty. That is right. I just say crap because I have so much of it. I'm like, oh my gosh, why were you so compulsive when you first started uh, Dollar Tree crafting? I think it was because everybody was telling me, like, you have to get it or it'll be gone. And usually it is. It really is. But then I realized, like, oh, this same sign comes out every season. <laughs> You did way too much shopping at DT during the pandemic when everyone's YouTube channel was exploding. I've never tried Slick Stick. Yes, Paige. Yeah, the stressing with DIY paint is effortless. Okay, you can just slap that on there. Sorry, you guys can't really see me, but we're going to set this aside. I'm going to dry it down just a little. And then when this color dries down, I'm going to come back in. And I think like on these bigger parts where there's not so much detail, like on this part is where I'll put random little spots of the turquoise. Oh man, I wanted some of this, um, for the base too. So let's boy, you're gonna shake. Okay, let's I just don't want to like mix more of the brown. So it's okay if the white Amanda, look at all of you. I'm really hoping I'm I really want to start selling my own DIY paints. I love supporting my girls, I love supporting Brie. But I'm also like, I should be making, you know, I should be selling that myself. Like I'm a business owner. Like I should be, you know, 
why aren't I telling you guys to come to my website and buy it? And so I'm really working on that and I've saved enough money to buy the product for inventory. So I'm just really hoping that's something that I'm able to do. Julie, that's a great idea. I was actually reminded of that as like we were starting to put things in the, the shed. I was like, man, I should, look. just like I said, like with the stamps and stuff, you don't know what you have or what can be transitioned to into different seasons. Like I haven't even made it in the spring box yet. Didn't even look in there. I've just been using everything that's like in front of my face. I'm very like out of sight, out of mind kind of person. Okay. I think that's good. Sorry. I'm going to check everybody's conversation real quick. Okay. Yes, you can, Lisa. You can use the DIY waxes over any paint. It does not have to be DIY whatsoever. When I first started using the DIY wax. I don't even think I had uh, many DIY paints. I think I had like two at the time maybe. Um, so yeah, you can definitely use them over Waverly. I heard of everything from you. Oh, thanks Melinda. Yeah, I really want to. I want to be like a, I want, I am a business owner. I own Unicorn Dust Designs LLC, but I'm like, I wish I could do, like, I want to do it all. Like, and I'm, I know I'm capable of it. It was just, you know, things like that cost money to do. So. My husband goes with me too, to the thrift store and sometimes he finds good stuff, but I feel like he's been shopping a little bit more for himself lately. Kim, I need to start going to a, now I'm like, how am I supposed to, I need to dry this down. Cause I'm like, how am I supposed to pick this up and set this aside? Here, I'll do, dry this. It looks like a pretty squid. Oh, <laughs> so even if you left it like this and then put gold on it, it would probably be really pretty. Did I miss like a whole girlfriend? Try try turning your piece around before you're done. There we go. Okay. You're welcome, Lisa. They'll you guys seriously in my Saturday video I show you that like I literally was small. This is the first DIY clear wax I have ever owned and I've had it for over a year and a half now, maybe two years, and I'm just getting through it right now. This is um, Truffle by Waverly. Karen, I, exciting news about that. Um, Karen asked, sorry for those of you, I forget that you guys can't see each other. Karen asked, when am I going to um, do another video on door signs? I, we actually just got a new shed. Hi, Erin. Um, we just got a new shed. We just started um, actually putting like my stuff like in the shed. So we um, pretty soon are going to have access to the wood right now we're just trying to find a place to put like our mower and all that stuff but it should be soon Erin so if you guys don't watch the provincial farmhouse Erin does all the IOD she does is it fusion mineral paint Erin um and she does yeah she does IOD what am I missing she does it all. And her videos, I always learn something from her. And I'm all about, I don't have a lot of time in my day. And Erin's videos, she, Dixie Bell, she um, lives in Australia, I believe. So her videos premiere at 4 a.m. But let me tell you, at 6 a.m. when I wake up, 
uh, to get the kids ready for school, her video is the first video that I watch because I really, truly feel like I get something out of her videos every single time I watch them. I learn something new. So definitely check her channel out if you haven't already. Yes, Lindsay, me too. John organized. He hung up all of my wood racks because I have them organized by size. And I'm just, I cannot, I cannot wait. Especially too, I can't wait to do wood signs and things with the IOD molds and the transfers, not just paint and vinyl, you know? Heather Dixie Bell is another brand of paint. When do I sleep, Lola? I feel like I'm always sleeping. Not really. I always wake up at 6 o'clock. No. I wake up at 6. I wake my older two kids up at 6. They get to eat breakfast and hang out in bed until 6.45. And then, so from 6 to 6.45, I get to... Oh, see? Look, there's another Asian beetle. I get to enjoy my drink and I watch a little bit of YouTube and that's the only time I have to watch anything. <laughs> Ain't that right? I do too, Kim. I love her accent. Okay. And because this is like a salt-based additive, obviously it does dry fairly quickly, but if you want to sand it down or anything, oh crap. Oh, why did I put my fingers on like a weirdo? I want to knock down some of the peaks and ridges in here. It'll just give it like a more stone look. So this, is. I should have done this a little bit sooner. So once it's like almost dry, you're going to knock the little peaks down that you made with it. Like you can see on this side a lot. Oh, let's see, I can't pick it up. Maybe hold on. Can you see all of that? You guys see it and like do you see the chunkiness and stuff all of that you want to leave you want to leave it if you want a nice weathered look just leave it so now i'm just brushing kind of down those peaks i don't need all of them because i'm going to go in a little bit harder with that turquoise so i'm still leaving some of them it's just, it's one of those things where you got to trust the process. Like half the time, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. There's like a big old chunk right there. That's okay. Half the time, I don't know what I'm doing and I just do it. And then if it turns out good, awesome. And then if it doesn't, then I tell you guys why it didn't turn out awesome. <sighs> okay. I don't know what Paige is talking about. Something Barnwood. Okay. So, you chunky right here. Right here is all chunky. I really want to do, so my first wood round, I'm going to do a salt wash version of a wood round to make it look like an old distressed wood, wood round for a door because I want one for mine. So, that is going to be the first one. I love that you guys are all chatting it up. Again, we're just going to get this kind of dry and then we'll move on to a, another project. Okay, that's cool. I like to get, if you guys, those signs that I've done on my channel, um, the ones with like the milk paint, the paint inlays on that really rough wood. Um, those pieces of wood that are super rough, those are from Hobby Lobby and they come in a pack of four or five and then 50% off. They were only like $11, I think. And those are really great ones. Oh, thank you, Erin. I like that. 
Erin said, using a spatula to apply paint over the texture gives you a weathered chippy look. So I like that. I'll have to try that. I want to try everything. Oh, that is so awesome, Heather. Okay, let's go ahead and set this one aside. We could blast it in a little bit. Well, maybe Erin, then I'll put like the patches of, I don't know, this one has so much detail. I'm afraid like if I uh, spatula it, I don't know. I mean, we could try it, I don't know. That's what I love about things that are, <laughs> Susan, um, like, a little bit cheaper that it's like you can play around with it and you can have fun with it and you can see if it's going to work for you or not you know and it's not like a complete loss okay i'm just going to clean up this salt wash right here and you can see how easy that is to just just have the baby wipe i'm going to clean it up so it doesn't get on our next paint job. Okay, I'm going to try that. Maybe I'll try that with the wood round. Because I just want to do like the top and the bottom weathered, obviously. So then you, and then, yeah, I just, okay. All right, I'm going to try that. Oh, you guys. And then I decided, um, do you guys remember those big giant bookends that were on last week's thrift haul? <laughs> Barbara. Um, those, a lot of people, which I don't know why I did not see it, said, oh my gosh, those look like they could be corbels. Don't know why that didn't even like register in my mind that those could be corbels because they totally look, yeah, they look like it. Like I found some at, um, what do you call it? Habitat for Humanity that almost look super similar. So we are definitely going to salt wash those and make them look like weathered wood. I could, it's the lights, those Asian beetles. Another one is going to, I guess they're attracted to lights. I'm not usually down here. So, okay. Anywho, we're going to grab this little, this little guy. <clears throat> And we're going to clean that up. Now, I said usually, usually I didn't have time to do it. So shame on me. I guess we'll find out what happens. But you know what? This is supposed to be like uh, DIY paints are supposed to be a paint and primer in one. So you're not supposed to have to like sand or anything like that when using these paints. I'm going to go in with Water Lily. If you guys were, I just talked about it in tonight's haul. That wall pocket I did that was black. Then I distressed it down. Then I added white wax to it. It was so beautiful. So that is what um, I am painting on a Lazy Susan and then just a Hobby Lobby dinner mat. <laughs> um, I'm just going to try and get some of the dust out of these details here. I mean, maybe it'll add to the texture. <laughs> just. Oh, I need a, a man and a saw in my life temporarily. <laughs> I hate when I see like everybody's like laughing and I'm like, what am I missing? I like your, I like your style, Melanie. You don't need a man, just a saw. Uh, Karen, the DIY paints I am currently getting from Brie at upcycledbybrie.com. She has amazing customer service and she usually is pretty well stocked in everything. Okay. This is our, we don't know what it is, but the tag was on the bottom. So I'm assuming it was a planter. People also said they think that um, it had a top on it, that maybe it was like some kind of box. But I think it's pretty cool because you can put a planter in there. You can put anything in there, but a planter, or you can flip it around and it could be a base for something as well. 
like this. I'm going to set my salt wash on it and it's going to, I'm going to have a light that shines up with salt wash and that's how it's going to be displayed. <laughs> uh, do DIY paints cover water spots on a little cabinet? I don't know, Kim. I don't know if they cover water spots. I keep finding stink bugs. I, the Asian beetles, and it's one of those things where you keep saying like, I need to call, uh, Dude, that it's like a fly that keeps on like hitting something. That's what that sounds. Oh yeah, you could. Oh no, I see now. This one is the bottom. There's actually, eh, there's little felt pads on it. Or there was until I just peeled them off. But they were coming off anyways, you guys. Okay, I didn't do it on purpose. So it is supposed to be the other way. So it was probably a box. I see what you're saying, Erin. All right, hopefully John gets her and can calm her down. Let me see if I could get I think I'm going to get a uh, goo gone real quick. You guys hold on. She's a sassy little thing, don't worry. My husband's up there. He's making her a bubble right now. She's been doing that lately. Um, I think she has some teeth coming in in the back because she'll be sound asleep and then like 30 minutes later, she's up screaming, so. Oh, that, that would be cute, Amy. I like that. If I had more time and I would have put more thought into it, I liked Erin's idea. She said, like, put a wood round on it, basically, and then make it um, like a riser pedestal. So now we know that it was supposed to be the other way if I would pay attention to things. Yeah, she's such a good girl. She like goes thrifting with me and everything. <laughs> one 13 year old boy and I'm good. We actually want one more. We crazy. We are crazy, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, thank you, Paige. I appreciate that. I try to be. Sometimes I don't feel like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing more working than I am being a mom, but I know that it'll all pay off one day. Okay. Let me just clean. I'll probably do that one last so that that can dry. All right, let's see. So we're going to use Water Lily. Everybody said this was a blue color when you guys saw me use it. I think it's purple. Am I tripping? Oh, yeah. You could even use it by your sink with soap and hand lotion. I'm 58 with a, is that a dog or a cat? <laughs> Linda just wanted, he was enough for me. Enough, bro. Ah, oh, you guys are going to 
fast. It's blurple. Looks blue to me. Looks periwinkle. Looks blue. Gosh, I'm tripping then. Look, this one. Did I put? No, I didn't. It actually opened easy. I was like, did I put Vaseline on that? Because these clay-based, this is clay and chalk-based paint. Can I just tell you, sucks to try to get open if you have a crusty lid. Like, let me tell you what. So let's just slap some Vaseline on that. Sometimes I wonder how I have friends like you guys. I'm an odd one. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Misty. Everly got her first haircut today. Yeah, you guys are probably like, what? She's. Uh -oh. I'm just using a half inch. Uh, shippy brush just to kind of do the first coat, get it all in there, and then um, we'll go with the second coat and I'll be a lot, a lot nicer and cleaner with it. But right now I'm trying to just get the coverage. This thing is like curved up in there. Oh, congratulations, Susan. So crazy. Everly is going to be eight, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have an eight year old. Like, I, one day they're going to be 18 and 21 and driving, and, and they all have such different personalities, as all of you guys know with your kids. convinced this is purple. Y'all blue, you blue people are tripping. Does it say anywhere? I wonder what it says on like the, like, wouldn't that be cool if it described paint? Like, you know, wine is described with notes of, you know, Something, 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 something like that. Yes, her first haircut, Lola. Um, I've never gotten her haircut. It's always been very um, curly and stuff. And I was always afraid that if I got her haircut too soon, because um, I've heard people say that like when they went to go take their kids to get their haircuts, like the curls never grew back and it paranoid me. So I never got her haircut. I know I'm a weirdo, right? This is water lily, Lori. Um, so we took about like five inches off. She has long hair, like to her butt long hair. And, um, she, the, my hairstylist straightened it for her because her hair is curly and she walked out of there feeling like super fresh. And she was even like, I don't want to get my hair wet when I get out of the car. I need to put this blanket over my head. It was just like so cute. <laughs> it was just so cute how good she felt. <laughs> we didn't cut Everett's hair for a long time. He had like the long, he had wavy hair too for a while. Um, but we ended up cutting his. John has super, super, when he grows his hair out, well, even right now, he has crazy curly hair. Um, so we were fortunate that at least one of the kids, well, who knows, Montgomery might have curly hair, but um, Everly got it. Everett has straight hair like me. Hank, are you down here? I could hear him licking himself. Hanky, you wanna come say hi? Come here. You wanna come say hi to everyone? Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. Come on. He's like, is this a trick? Say hi. Can you tell everybody hi? Yeah. I don't, don't, don't 
gonna get your hair all over my paint. It's gonna be like little paint bristles. I had a cookie, okay? You don't need to call me out on it. He's like, oh yeah? What'd you eat, mom? I love when he like goes like that, like he's falling asleep. <laughs> We don't know what it is. We don't know if it's because, um, excuse you, sir. You are on camera. Jeez, he does not care. Um, since we've moved into this house, he reeks, like smells so bad. And there's like farm cats that walk around and stuff. So, I don't know if he, if like the cats are coming into our fenced in portion of the yard and like peeing and he's like rolling in grass or like rolling over it or whatever, but he reeks now. Like we never had this issue at the old house. Like he needs to be washed constantly now. It is so gross. Are you rubbing your belly on me? I'm wearing black pants, bro. He is probably, I think, like four. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. While I go brush myself off. Okay. I think he's about four years old right now. We got we saved him from Facebook Marketplace. Um so his ears do smell every now and then we do try to clean them um and then we do take him to the groomers but seriously we took him to the groomers and within you know a week he was smelling again and it's not like his ears because i know what the ears smell like it's his whole body like you he's literally sitting right next to you and you can smell him i'm like dude you did not smell like this at the old house Yeah, he is, he is a sweetheart. He would cuddle you all day. Tina knows. Tina came out here to Kansas and he was trying to just like lay on her lap the entire time. And it's like, no, not everybody wants a ginormous dog on their lap. Okay, stop moving. Hold you down. And what's fun about DIY paint, sorry, I'm like, squirrel. Um, I love that they dry down to be such a beautiful matte color. And that's another thing I tell you guys pretty often is if you are looking on the website and you're like, dang, that color is so pretty. Ugh, Priscilla, I hope not. Um, if you're thinking the color is pretty online, try and like Google search what that color looks like on like a piece of furniture or something because they dry down and look very different, at least in my opinion. The only color that I've seen dry down and still be like really dark is Kissing Booth. Other than that, I feel like they, um, they all dry down to be a way lighter version of what they look like in the containers. Oh, she said, um, uh, it could be a Kleenex box holder. I have a Kleenex box. Once this dries, watch, it's probably going to be the perfect fit. That makes so much sense. Okay. All right. There you go. I can definitely see that. Did you guys know that I am so lucky that Kendra that's talking, where are you, Kendra? She was somewhere. Late Night Creations, that's Kendra. Her and I get to go to Creative Con together this July. We're flying in at the same time. We're staying in the same hotel room together. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be really exciting. I've never been. Uh, she's never been. It's for like YouTube and content creators and stuff. And um, yeah, 
and you just kind of like go over like best practices for things, learn about different things in our field and you get to meet other creators and yeah. So I'm so excited. I didn't get to go last year and I asked if she was interested and she's like, yep, I want to go. And so we started like making plans right away and I'm so excited. It's going to be my first time ever going out of the state for this long without my kids or my husband. It's so weird. Now, I'm not that mad if this doesn't get every little black piece because in the end, I'm actually going to be wiping this back. Why are you even down here, bro? Your dad is upstairs. All right. Uh, we'll dry this and then we will flip it around. Oh, Paige, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure it made you a stronger woman. It's in Florida. We get to go to Jacksonville, Florida. I've never been there, so that's going to be super cool. Susan, would that not be the coolest thing ever? A crafty cruise? Let's plan it, y'all. How cool would that be? And, we, and the funny thing is, it's going to be a crafty cruise that we don't even craft on. <laughs> I'm all, can't you just fly all the way here? Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine the price tag on that plane ticket. Holy heck. Yeah, Kendra will pick you up. No, you're fine, Heather. It's water lily. Right? I'm all now, I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, water lily. Oh man. It's fine. Pain ain't gonna hurt no one. Diane, was I that boring during my haul? You fell asleep. Yep, a crafty cruise where we don't craft. We just have cocktails and eat food and go by the pool. I'm down with that. Thank you, mom. My mom's on, Karen Clary. She's gonna probably tell me after this, you should really do your makeup when you go live. Well, mom, it's only what, eight o'clock your time? What time is it already? Jeez, it's already been an hour, you guys. I swear, time flies when you guys are when I'm just chatting, hanging out with you guys. Do you have a hobby for Erin? I haven't actually looked back like through your channel. Have you ever done like a tour of your store or your hobby form? Yeah, I only craft on when <laughs> playing the Titanic movie, but I'll watch your Instagram stories. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is so funny. All right. I think I could at least flip this now. So that's what it looks like as it dries down. My mom said this was blue too. You should. I would love, love, love to see your store. I'm sure other people would because you make all of your stuff for your store. And I've seen pictures on Instagram and I'm always like, oh my gosh, I want to know what her store looks like. Oh gosh, the time change is kicking me in the butt, especially with like the kids and it has to happen on spring break. So I'm like, we're all completely off schedule because it's like they're sleeping in and then like the baby is... Ugh. I can't wait for school to start back up just to get back on 
a schedule. <laughs> periwinkle, ladies. Julie's at Periwinkle. I think, let's ask Brie. Yeah, I see it as a periwinkle too. Blue, blue, and blue and purple. Get in those little ridges. Myrtle Beach is on your way to Jacksonville, Florida. I'm flying. I don't know. I know I have a stop somewhere. Yay. It always makes me nervous because I don't usually fly on my own and I haven't been many places where I'm like feel confident enough to know my way around a airport or switch switching flights and like all of that stuff I'm like great I'm gonna miss something can I put you in the middle so that you don't there we go okay this will help me also get underneath Spots. Oh, yeah. Miss that. Diane, I was telling them that I was going to go to um, Jacksonville, Florida with Kendra from Late Night Creations. We're going to go to the Creative Con. Mom, I feel like it could be whatever somebody wants it to be. I did realize, though, that it had felt pads on the bottom, so it definitely was meant for flipping. And somebody said on here, too, that they think it is actually to hold, like, a tissue box, which makes a lot of sense. What? Thank you, Julie. Okay, now I just want to order all the colors. Right? Sorry if I'm missing. Oh, thank you, Susan. Yes, if you guys could leave thumbs up and don't forget to sprinkle for a chance to win um, this mug that I designed and I sublimated. <laughs> I like how today I randomly was like, I'm gonna sublimate a mug and then I only did one. Cause that's how as a crafter, that's why we never get anything done. You have a store called the Pink Paisley Poppy Emporium. Girl, I am not that tech savvy either. I wasn't even going to start a YouTube channel in fear that like I didn't know enough about technology. And then one day I came across this YouTube video that said um, she started her YouTube channel using her cell phone. She edited from her cell phone. And I was like, oh, well, I could do that. I did not salt wash this piece. I've only done this piece so far. Okay. Which we only have an hour. So I'm like, which one do we want to finish? The salt wash one? Because I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to finish. Uh, I think we'll be able to finish both of them. Because this one, I don't really have to give a second coat to the front because I'm going to distress it back. So what is that? Oh, piece of my, yeah. Does look blue, purple, right? Oh, I wish I could follow what you guys are saying. Next time I'm like, I'm just going to come on here. We're just going to talk. I'm not going to even craft because I feel like I have FOMO, you guys. I'm like, what did I miss out on? What did you guys say? <laughs> no rock star tonight. No. I already had my rock stars today. Um, and I would like to pass out after this for sure. I feel like tomorrow is going to be a long day. I have the gym and then 
we need to go, we get our kitchen cabinets painted on Mondays. So we have to go and pick out our um, hardware because uh, they're going to need them on Monday. And then John has to finish our islands because he's doing the shiplap around the island. And um, what else did we have to do? We're going to go to the counter place because we are getting our countertops done as well. So I feel like tomorrow's going to be so and we have to take all three kids with us. So, uh. oh, are you not supposed to do that? No, Sammy, we must watch you create. Although the FOMO is real, it is, it totally is. Okay, so I just wanted to get for sure the inside because it was streaky and it looked like it needed a second coat. And then um, since, I want this to be versatile if somebody doesn't want to use it this way and wants to use it this way. I'm going to do a second coat just on this top part. And then the rest, this part, I'm not doing a second coat because I want to distress it back. And look, tannins are already coming through. What did I freaking tell you guys? I Please tell me. Please tell me. I need to know this, you guys. Aaron, maybe you can too. I don't know. Every majority of flippers that I watch don't even mention shellac are stain blocking um, materials, I guess you could say, or mediums. Now, I've discussed this with you guys many times. Shellac is a stain blocker and I usually use it mostly on wood. And then I even told you guys before painting this, I didn't have time to shellac this. So I was going to paint it and we would see if something comes through. And sure enough, I could already see tannins or oils or whatever coming through because you just don't know where this has been, where people have used it. So I'm going to show you because, oh, and then I touched the inside of it like a, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I can dark wax it. So you like how I just wipe it on my table. It it's okay. It's just peel off here. It's not real marble. You guys, um, hold on. Let me dry the top so I can touch it. So right away I started seeing the Brown over here. There's Brown coming through. I see yellow coming through over here. So I guess my question is like, how do other people get away with not shellacking or stain blocking any of their stuff? Because I see so many people that flip, flip and, you know, flip and paint and stuff. And they don't ever mention anything about stain blockers. And it literally never fails that if I do not put a stain blocker on a piece, then I have this problem. And I tell you guys it in my videos all the time. Like, just do it right the first time. And guess what I didn't do? Mom, I used your do it right the first time. I told everybody the story of how when we would do Saturday chores, you would come check our work. And then you would make us go back there if we didn't do it right. And you said, well, if you did it right the first time. Yeah, Erin uses, um, sorry, the Dixie Bell has a built-in, or does the Dixie Bell, or is it a different one that you use that has the built-in sealer? Stain blocker, stain blocker. Um, and if I wanted to, I could probably go outside and I could clear this with clear matte. I don't know if I could shellac it after I painted it like this. Um, but I'll just distress it. I've never used dark wax on this color. So, okay. But let me show you, hopefully you guys can see like right here. I can definitely see scroll. It's coming through everywhere. Okay. Like I'm going to right here in this scroll. Can you guys see the yellowing? And then like up on this leaf right here, you could see the brown 
showing through. I'd make it look like it was some patina going on, but that's just me. That's true. Yes. Yeah, so let's do this second coat real quick. And I, I like to just stipple it on so I don't see any brush strokes. If you don't mind brush strokes and you like that look, then you do you, boo. This would have gone a lot faster if I would have used a wider brush, but... Oh, well, I'm so glad that you're here with us. I passed out during the thrift haul. <gasps> well, you made it. All right, just giving that second coat to this side and then we will dry it down. We'll start distressing and then we'll see wherever we wanna go from there. Okay, so we're done. I don't have my water mug. I Tell me how I get paint all over the cap when I had nothing to do with the cap right now. I don't know why. Oh, that's good, Paige. Shellac yellow, so you probably don't want it on light or bright colors. I've never had that issue, um, Jenny, because I usually use it on my wood signs um, to keep the, what do you call it? The knots from coming through. Somebody else said that too in a comment. They were like, shellac turned one of my projects um, yellow or something. And I was like, really? I haven't had that issue yet, at least. Let's try this. Uh... Yes, yes, yes. Were you guys just not here when I put Vaseline all around this lid? Are we tripping right now, y'all? Ah! Lindsay, they'll probably be listed tomorrow if I could get them all done. There is another Asian beetle. I've never had the issue with something yellowing after I put shellac as a base, but it looks like some people are saying that they've um, they've had experience with it turning lighter colors um, or like yellow. Oh no, I would never put shellac over. Yeah, I would never like put it over something like this. It's always like my base if I'm gonna paint. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then we'll start. Yeah, there's like, and then the one time one fell on my head and I almost freaked out. Cause you could like feel I'm hitting you. All right, I'm just gonna get the baby wipe. The inside's still kind of wet. Yeah, I still see some yellowing, but it's not a big deal, right? And this is where I'm like, it just wipes back so great. It's water soluble. So it's going to wipe back until you seal it. So you have to seal the DIY paint. Um, and we're just going to bring those details back out. doesn't have to be all of it. It could just be a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Yes, I remember you, Dixie. <gasps> that is so amazing congratulations to your son i always i follow them on um on instagram 
and I love all of their stuff. I love all their stuff and how they are coming out with new flavors all the time. If you guys are peanut butter lovers, go check out American Dream Butter, like on, I don't know what other forms are on, but uh, on Instagram, oh my gosh, girls. they sent me some peanut butters and they, they will blow your mind if you're peanut butter lovers. I'm not joking. I'm just, this has a lot of details. Jeez Louise. Sorry, I must have missed. I want to try Slick Stick too. What did my mom say? Ah. Oh, my mom sent me something about books. Okay. All right. I need to keep doing this. Stop distracting me. All right. I want to kind of get that rim going. And I apologize if anybody on Facebook has sent me stars. Um, thank you. I cannot see that um, on this forum. So I usually have been seeing them later. So I apologize if you think I'm not like seeing it or if I'm seeing it and you think that I'm ignoring it, but I can't see it when I'm streaming on both um, places. So I apologize. <sighs> Do not. So there were like these baby wipes we bought. Do not like them at all. Finally found the old versions that we had and these like fall apart compared to the other ones. So I need to bring those down here. Uh, that was so funny, Heather. The conversation about bacon that literally lasted the entire video. I'm going to kind of get up here too. Just smile that. Doesn't count. I prefer to use a baby wipe if I can. Some people use like a towel. Um, I just like that I can, it's wet. I don't have to do anything and then I can toss it afterwards. Oh yeah, I like that. Over here talking to myself. Our family loves, loves bacon. Water wipes are good, but they're expensive, girl. Water wipes are expensive. Okay, I know I'm missing a side. Yep, knew it. Okay. I found a bag filled with uh, Elias, is it? Today I found a thrift store. Today at a thrift store, if I could read, I found a bag filled with shoe polish and the clear waxes. I am going to try them on a couple of things, see how they work. I know it smells more, but they, hey, cheap. Hey, try anything. I'm always down to try new things. Oh yeah, those would probably work, mom. Actually, you know what? I need to get those out because we need to start using those on Hank. Because like I said, he smells. Sorry, uh, simply blessed. You can use either um, wax to clear your piece and seal it. So any of the waxes that you use, you can seal your piece with. You will not ever put wax, the DIY wax, over like on your project piece and then like say, go spray it with Rust-Oleum clear mat afterwards or try and seal it with like a poly acrylic or something because then it's just going to turn into a very sticky mess. So once you put that wax on, that is your sealer. You do not have to worry about it after that. 
And I'm just like wiping this back. I'm not like trying to get into all the details. I'm just wiping over it really rough. Jeez, these baby wipes are horrible. They're just like getting holes in them. Oh gosh, you guys, I thought I missed one side. There's a whole another side. Jeez Louise. Well, I'm gonna need another baby wipe, but this is how it's a looking so far. It almost looks like a lace kind of pattern, huh? Oh, there goes that Asian beetle. Ah, yes. To my craft zone. Something's gonna get knocked down right now. Just don't pull on my head. <sighs> okay. Do you need a, another baby wipe since they want to keep uh, breaking? No, you don't need to start with Rust Oleum at all, Heather. So, as you can see, like right now, I did the paint and then I will do a wax and I'm done. I don't have to use the Rust-Oleum for anything. Or, sorry, sorry. Do a shellac or some kind of stain blocker. Doesn't matter what it's like. And um, just a stain blocker when you're thrifting. And then paint. Then wax. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. This lighting is so hard in this, like, view because then... I feel like it just brightens it up. So I'm trying to do, but I'm just literally getting rough and I'm wiping over it. I'm not like getting every little, does he smell like fish? No, Hank doesn't smell like fish. He just smells bad. I don't know what it is. And we can't pinpoint it because John, uh, when we moved into the house, they had like a pig or something. And so it's little house was back there. And we completely, uh, we took that down. John cleaned up the backyard. And so we're like, the only other thing we could think about is cats. Lori, I use shellac. I use the clear shellac. I actually just bought more the other day. Yeah. Attack the Asian beetles. If I would just get my stuff together and call someone. To come take care of it. And I need to do that, especially before it gets even hotter. <laughs> hotter, like it's hot here or something right now. Okay. That is looking snatched. All right. What do we want to do, you guys? Should we try just going over it with white? I mean, it's going to seal it. I'm just wondering if the tannins will keep coming through. Now that I've wet distressed it, you can't actually see any of it. No, they're kind of, no, okay, I'm white, I'm white. I'm doing the white. You guys know how this goes. Yes, mom, this will be going on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. Um, okay. So white wax again, you guys, I've had this for a year and a half. I've had this the same amount of time I had the clear wax and this is how much white I still have left from that long ago. Oh, thank you for answering that. Sorry. Sorry. I messed up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Julie. Yay. Thank you for ordering your salt wash through me, girly. I appreciate that. So I just use a chippy brush for my, um, my wax and I reuse the same brush. And all I do is I make sure that I wipe it off before I put it away. And then before I start again, um, and then I go for it. So mm, no, I'm not going to go for it yet. I'm going to put clear wax on first. And the reason I'm doing the clear wax first is because I want to be able to wipe the white wax back so that it doesn't cling to all of this purple paint. I want to wipe off whatever I can 
and it won't allow me to do that if I don't clear wax out. It was really nice when I was at the bottom of my other barrel to just stick my uh, paintbrush in here. Um, that was really nice, but now I can't do that. All right, so we're gonna clear this first. Lindsay, I have just been using, I know that there's probably like super nice quality brushes. Um, I was using a Waverly one for quite some time. And then for whatever reason, the bristles started shedding really bad. So I stopped using it and now I've been using the chippy brush and it works just fine. So if you're like, girl, I just spent a lot of money on the wax. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a brush. <laughs> the clear wax works great. Or the clear wax. <laughs> Chippy brushes work great. I don't have any issues using them at all. And I'm just buffing that in to this piece. And you guys, if I'm missing questions or something, I apologize. I will try and go back and like answer if I miss it. Thank you to those of you that are answering other people's messages or comments. Is it like super confusing for you guys when I'm talking and like it's a conversation maybe that's happening on Facebook, but not YouTube? Any natural bristle brush is great for wax. Natural brish, bristle brush. Good to know. I'm going to look that up on Amazon. Natural bristle brush. Say that five times fast. Natural bristle brush. And I like that these two, the, the chippy brushes, they just get into like all of the details nice. All right. Now I'm going to go over all of our beautiful details. Just get those bristles in there. And you know when you've touched a part of this with clear wax because it'll darken up and the other spots that are not cleared yet are still going to look very matte um, and they're going to look lighter. Now, when you put your clear wax on, it's going to darken everything up, but do not fret. It will dry back down. It's not going to dry back down as matte as it was before, but it will dry back down to a softer, lighter color like you planned for it to be. Oh my gosh, this thing's heavy. Oh, thank you. I did thrift this. I think it was like $4.99 at Savers. And I've had it in my stash forever. And I was watching Ginger Cheap Rehab. And I was like, man, I'm pretty sure I have quite a few of those. Let's get it out. And it's actually really, really nice. And it helps me stay in frame when I'm filming which is great because I have a tendency to just kind of go off camera when I really get into things and I start holding things back or I start holding things really close to me. All right, so just buffing, buff, 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 buff the wood, buff, 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 buff. You guys, what movie is that from? Anybody? Anybody? Did anybody hear me? If you were sanding a piece, you'd need to do that before waxing, right? Or would it matter? Shelly, what are you talking about? Sorry. If you are sanding a piece, you knew, need to do that before waxing. Do what before waxing? Sorry. Yes, get that lazy Susan out. Oh wait, I already, see look, before I didn't even know what I was doing, now I'm, I'm like going back over and waxing things I've already waxed. So, uh, so let me read your question again. After, if you were sanding a piece, you'd need to do that before waxing. 
I'm still not. Can you like rephrase the whole question? Sorry, I'm just not understanding. No. No, Diane. No. Uh, okay, so I think, I don't know if you were on the last one, but um, Waverly Wax is like paint consistency, like a gel, like the antique wax. I mean, you know what it looks like. Um, and the white one is going to come out cream, like a yellowy undertone it's going to have if you put it on stuff. So if, um, and then the clear wax, it will do the same thing. You're just going to have to wipe it back a lot. So when you put the Waverly wax on, it's going to be like super, um, liquidy, I guess. So you would have to brush it on and then you need to get a napkin or something or a paper towel and you're going to need to wipe all of the excess off of it with DIY paint. You just need to put it on there. I don't have to like wipe it back off or anything like that. So that's the difference. I feel like uh, the Waverly ones should be called glazes, glazes and um, not waxes. Now, Erin, um, Provincial Farmhouse, and sorry, Erin, I don't know all of your, your products, uh, but um, look, I could be making you a lot of business if we were in Australia. Well, I'm sure she ships too. Um, but um, the stuff she uses, you are welcome. The paste paint and the silk screens. Okay. I'll go back to that. Are you talking about, um, what do you call those things? The silk screen things. Chalk couture. Is that what you're talking about? Like those? Um, I already forgot what I was talking about. You got, oh, Erin, she, they have like these, she uses these glazes. Like there's like a gray one. There's a brown one. Maybe use your Waverly waxes to create like versions of that, like uh, pour it and then mix a little bit of gray, like paint to it. And then like brown paint and some of it. And you could use those as glazes to give you different effects um, on your pieces. Glaze. Yeah. That's it. Uh, so Baldwin Family Farm asked about... Um, uh, the chalk couture and stuff. So to be honest, I've tried it only a couple times and I wasn't a fan only because I could not get the hang out of, I couldn't get the hang of it. Why am I putting this? On? So you're not supposed to dip your paint back or your waxes back in but what i do if i have extra because i do not want to waste it i attach it to the side up on the top so that i don't put it back into the wax and it's the first one that i scoop out when i go to use it again because i'm not wasting any of this precious my precious um but i tried it one time not one time i've tried it quite a few times because my uh girlfriend Teresa, she was selling it at the time and she sent me a bunch of stuff and I just could not get the hang out of it. Oh, gosh. I, you guys, it's getting late. I could not get the hang of it. And I followed directions. I tried it quite a few times. And I could not figure it out to save my life. And so I was like, nope, this isn't for me. Not for me. Um, oh. So I have no negative things to say about it. I just, it's not for me. I'll see if I want to put white wax inside later. Right now, I'm just going to focus on, um, yes, that's why I asked you about DIY waxing because I have a bunch of Waverly paint brand, but I heard you talk about Waverly wax. Yeah, definitely. If you haven't opened it yet, I would for sure. So I am stippling the white, ooh, a brand new jar. Woo! Um, I'm stippling this on. And what I was going to say was, yes, if you have not used it, definitely I would return it and invest in your, in the DIY wax. So I'm going to do this in sections. So I'm stippling it on. 
Good night. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it and being here with us. All right. So I put that on. Now I'm going to get my paper towel and I'm just going to wipe this back. Now I'm doing this in smaller sections because the longer you let the wax sit on there, the harder it is going to be to move. So do you see how I just wipe that bottom half off right there? So you can see, and then I don't like how, see how it's sitting in like really like a lot right there, really a lot. <laughs> I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to kind of like ball it up and I'm just going to pounce in there. I don't want to wipe it back. I don't want all of that wax to be gone, but I don't need all of that there. I don't need it to be that bright. They're like, doesn't that look pretty? It's sitting in all of those details. That's what it looks like. It looks beautiful this way too. But it's like now wherever that black isn't, that's where the white's sitting. And it's just creating like more, what do you call it? Dimension, I guess you can say. And then I feel like I do need to put some white wax up here, but I just want to put the remnants of what's in my, on my brush. I don't want it to be bright white. And then I probably won't white wax the inside. I already cleared it with the clear. So it's not like it's not sealed or anything. I just don't think it's necessary, at least yet. I guess I should just keep going and then we'll see. Ah. Uh, They are fun, but the colors you have and stuff are really pretty too, Erin. Good night, Susan. Thank you. I'm probably, you guys, not going to get a chance to finish that salt wash one, but what I'll do is I'm not going to, I won't do anything to it, and we will finish it um, on Sunday, okay? So... And that'll be even better because then that salt wash is going to be hard as a rock. All right. I'll wipe that back again. It's amazing. It is amazing what you can do with these paints and these waxes. Isn't it crazy too, y'all, like how our, like as you grow as a crafter or, you know, like one day you could just turn on YouTube or TikTok or something and a creator catches your eye and then it inspires you to like try different things. And then it's like it creates this whole new madness of supplies and, you know, trying new things and all that. I couldn't even tell you who I watched for the first time where I'm like, good night, Liz. Um, I can't tell you who I actually watched for the first time that I was like, oh, my gosh, I want to try this. I know I found, I found Brie and actually reached out to Brie when I first found her channel. And was like, oh my gosh, do you want to collab with me? And even though I had a bigger channel than her, I was scared that she was going to say no because she was so talented. And I think there was more pressure because she lived locally to me um, that I was like, oh, this girl is way too cool. She's not going to want to hang out with me. Uh, <laughs> and then she actually responded and I was like, oh my gosh. But I think it was her. And then I started getting into... Um, Sonnets, Garden and Bloom, Ginger Chick, we have for a while. Now we can't stop buying molds, right? That's awesome, Priscilla. That makes me so, so, so happy. 
to be honest, for me, you know, there's people that like inspire you and they motivate you to step out of your comfort zone and, you know, do things. And I feel like that was Brie for me. Um, she did so much and she was so talented. And like, when I started to get to know her and she was like, this is what I do. Like I, I resell, I have a booth and I have a website. It really pushed me to want to do more and like go after more, I guess you can say. And, um, I like, I don't think if, if I would have never met Brie, I don't think I would have even had like the concept of getting a booth or getting a website because she has literally like walked me through all of it. So if I would have never reached out to her, I would never be, I don't want to say where I am, but just like have made the steps that I've made without getting to know her. Oh, Deanna says fusion makes a clear glaze that you can mix with whatever color you want. Just brush on and wipe off with a dry cloth. And then a wet cloth if you want more glaze off. Ooh. Mine was Mr. Crafty Pants. He encourages me. He encouraged me to buy a cricket and hot humble pie brought me over to this neck of the crafting woods. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, De Deanna. I appreciate that. I hope I inspire you guys. I always say, hi, Joan. I always say that, like, I hope that when you guys come, you know, I feel like time is so limited, at, at least for me it is. I don't have a lot of spare time. I don't get paid to do this like a normal job, you know, that like, I feel like <clears throat> if you guys are going to come to my channel, I hope I bring value to your day. I hope I'm teaching you something. I hope if I'm not teaching you something, maybe I just make you smile and you think I'm funny. I don't know. Like, I just hope that you take something from my videos with the time that you're spending with me watching my videos. Yes, Denise, just unicorndustdesigns.com. It's in my, it's in all my description box, description boxes. How did Holly, is Holly from Hot Humble Pie brought me over here as well? Is that when I did like a collab with her a long time ago? It feels like now. And we did it so funny. We did a weird collab together. It was like modern DIYs. Something that's like not either of our styles whatsoever. Oh, I love Sherry from Canterbury Cottage. She's the sweetest, sweetest lady ever. Thank you, Sarah. All right, wipe in this bag and then we will be, no, wait, I guess I'm just like, mm, I think I'm going to, uh, you guys like how I'm talking to you right now because I still want this to be multi-purpose. Well, thank you, Diane. Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to like buff the white in on this side. Just there's no detail, but if somebody wanted to use it on this side, at least it looks cohesive and not just like, oh, she forgot to paint that side of it. <laughs> no, I didn't boo. So I'm just doing a rough coat and then I will buff this into the piece and then I might wipe it back just a little bit. Uh, Aaron, do you have a video coming out tomorrow? No, I don't think you do because I haven't seen the, the post to set my reminder. What are your posting dates, Aaron? I always get, sometimes I'll like be sitting there and I get so excited because I see a video and then it's like, oh, airing at 4 a.m. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Paige. Are you talking to me, Diane? Multi-purpose what? Oh, this, because I see it as somebody would could use it as a pedestal for something or even a plant, or they could use it this way as something for a plant 
Somebody also said they see it as a, a tissue box holder as well. So I'm like, at least somebody, and then, you know, I'm just going to kind of put a little bit, whatever's left on my brush on the inside, just so everything flows. Not that somebody's going to be like, oh, let me look on the inside of that. But you never know. There's weird people out there. So, <laughs> all right. So that is how this beauty turned out. Tuesdays and Saturdays. Okay. Oh, Vicki, thank you for that information. I have no idea. So Vicki said she watched my haul and she said that just wanted to let you know any anything made in Japan, stamps or labels signify when it was made. So red, black, and green are the most common colors. That is very interesting. I would have never known that. Yes, I still use the Dollar Tree stencil brushes too. So look at how gorgeous. And then I buffed in the white on the bottom, just so if you want to use it that way, or we could use, here, let's grab that, um, the tissue box so we could see. And then maybe I'll put my paintbrush away. You guys, I'm bringing this over because you need to tell me what color we're. No, not a tissue box holder. It's not, you guys. All right. So I think she left. No, <laughs> it's on tissue box. Can you, like, you know how, how do you say that? Like, um, Lorheo, can you, like, spell it out, you know, like, L O dash. I don't know how you, what, what that is so that I'm pronouncing it right. I think it would be cute with the nest too. I think that would be super cute, but it's not for that. So we'll say a planter or something else. I am very like, I would drape like a really pretty, like you guys, this is why my videos are so long because I can't stop talking and thinking of stuff. Like, I'm that person that, like, I would get, like, a really pretty, like, doily and, like, drape it over with, like, some pearls coming out and then maybe, like, a little plant or some glass little, like, trinkets or perfume bottles would look really You can just, like, tell I'm doing that. Oh, Lori and Joe. Lori Joe. Oh, my goodness gracious. I feel like a fool. <laughs> Lori Joe. Okay. Um, what did my mom say? If you found a big round candle and cut in square, it might work as a space. Yep, that's true. Hi, Janella. That's, um, Erin actually said, not a lid, but she said that like you could put like a a wood piece on top to make it like a riser or something like that. So good night, Debbie. But I'm very like shabby chic, I guess you can say with the way like I like to stage things or display them um, because I would definitely see like really fancy perfume bottles in here with that and some pearls and I don't know. That's just my lab. All right. So there's that on Sunday, you guys. Um, we will get back. I have white wax all over my hands, so I'm not going to touch that, but our, I'll just at least touch it like this, like touching it right now. It feels like rocks are in my hand. Like that's how coarse this stuff is. And it looks like where I put the big globs still has to dry. So I'm like, can you see? I'm trying to get it in angles where you can see the big glob I put on there right there. That's okay. Just needs more dry time. It'll dry down. It'll be hard as a rock. So on Sunday, we'll carry on from that one. So join me and we'll put some old 57 on there. And then we will, oh, I felt like I just wasted a lot of white wax. Uh, old 57, 
And then we're going to probably brush, either dry brush it with white, paint it with white, and then distress it back. Haven't decided yet. Um, Brenda, my mother is not a crafter. My uh, dad is the one, he's the artsy one. My dad does like watercolors, he can draw, he can airbrush, him and my brother. My brother does custom car paintings and I mean like custom, like the pinstriping, the glitter, like all of that one stuff as well. So um, the salt wash, even though we didn't finish it, there is the 42 ounce, the 10 ounce, and then the starter kit, which I feel like is more worth the value because you're gonna get the 10 ounce, two chippy brushes, a mixing cup, a stir stick, the lookbook, and then the 10 ounce uh, salt wash in there as well. Um, so those are all on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. And then that pedestal or planter thing will be on the website tomorrow for sale. And then I just wanted to ask you guys really quick, what color should we paint this? What are we thinking? I hauled it tonight and everybody said paint it. Not one person said, leave it in this sand color. So um, what are we thinking here? A part of me was thinking skeleton key because maybe we'll do this on Sunday too. So skeleton key is like that grayish blue color and then we can white wax it because of all the details. And then even the numbers are popped out and raised out on it. Um, I do have a deep navy, but you know what? It's called Hay Sailor and it's from DIY. And last time, no, what did I use? I used a clear wax and it got really splotchy, but white wax might work with it. I'm not sure. Pale pink. A gray shade. Thank you, Lori, for sending stars. I appreciate you. Apothecary, pale pink. Oh, man, you guys are making it hard. Y'all are saying ballerina, so that's like another pink. I like it. I like that people like pink. Because pink's not a color you see painted all the time. Dark purple. Oh, Sarah, you crazy. You crazy, girl. A gray shade. Yeah, see, I was thinking skeleton key. Skeleton key is that, like, bluish gray color. I don't know if I have anything painted in it that I have around right now. Probably not. You guys, one day on the live, we should change my mantle because it's been dark for a very long time. Turquoise and black wax. That would be daring Mercedes. Or sorry, Cheryl said that. White with dark wax. Not a pink girl, but to each their own. A moody green with gold accents. I do have, or you know what? Bree's bringing me more color. He's like, I'm scratching my face on the clock. Bree is bringing me more colors tomorrow. So um, maybe, um, maybe I might choose one of those colors. All right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll finish this one on Sunday and then we'll paint this one. Because I feel like this will be an easy kind of paint job. I'll clean it beforehand and I'll spray it with shellac. <laughs> How about skeleton key with a pink wax? I could probably make a pink wax. <laughs> yes, I love dark academia. I did a video for Easter. It did not do well though. So people were not digging that on my channel. So you guys make sure to sprinkle, share on Facebook if you can. On Sunday, I will, so before that, I will go through and I'll choose one winner. That's one winner total, not on both forums. And then I will respond to a comment or I might message you directly if it's Facebook. And it is to win one of these coffee mugs that I designed and sublimated. Okay. 
Brenda, I love that pig too. I love this cup too. I think I need to make this in other colors. The I live to junk. I think it would be fun in some other colors. I'm getting stuff all over this. Thank you, Priscilla. I did like a dark wax. Um, it was all dark green stuff. All dark green stuff. Had like a bunny that I um, I did with gold. What time Sunday? Usually 9 a.m. Central. Thank you, Erin, for coming. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, I'm getting Vaseline all over me. All right, you guys, I will finally let you go. This is what happens. I'm one of those people on the phone that's like, okay, bye. And then I keep, you know, I keep talking. Um, that's, I'm that person. I'm that girl. All right, you guys, thank you all for spending your time with me tonight. Please, again, sprinkle, share. It's going to help my video out. And if you guys are ever bored, I mean, feel free to watch these live videos on Facebook so I can get those uh, hours to get monitored. I appreciate you all. Thank you for anybody that sent me um, uh, stars on Facebook. And for those of you on YouTube, if you've sent me any, um, I am in Kansas, Joan. If you send me any super thanks, I appreciate it. However, if you want to send me anything on like uh, YouTube, if you can go into my description box, there is a link for buy me a coffee. That would be preferable because YouTube takes a percentage out of those super thanks. So yeah, no bueno. So thank you guys so, so very much. I hope you guys have a good night and I have a new video coming out on Saturday. So look out for that. Now I gotta reach out to you. Good thing. All right. Bye guys. Bye.